A reserved word, also called a keyword, is a term that has a special meaning in the Java programming language. Identifier names cannot be reserved keywords, otherwise you will get a compiler error. This means that you can't call your variable or object names reserved keywords in Java, you can't name your methods reserved keywords, or your class, and so on. And this table on the bottom shows the list of all the reserved Java keywords, some of which you have may already seen. We're not going to go over all of these right now, but let's take a look at some of the most basic ones. In this class that I created called Keyword Demo, you can see that it has several keywords already. You can identify them easily because in Eclipse, it makes them bold and in purple. So public, static, class, and void are all reserved keywords in Java. Other examples we've seen are int for integers, for the age, and double for floating point numbers. You can see that int and double both also became purple in bold font. We cannot, however, use any of these keywords to become variable names. For example, if I wanted an integer called static and assign that to 5, that's not going to work because static is a reserved keyword and you get a compiler error. So it has to be anything else other than static or any of the other reserved keywords. Maybe you could just stick a 1 at the end and that'll get rid of it because it's no longer the same keyword. Let's talk a little bit about what these keywords mean. So the word public and class combined basically says that this class is publicly accessible, meaning that you can access it from anywhere within the package that you're in or outside of the package if this class has been imported into your program. In the public static void main header, public means that it's publicly accessible. Static means that we don't need to create any objects in order to call this main method. And the void means that the main method does not return a value. Int stands for integer, double stands for floating point numbers, and these are two of the eight basic primitive data types. We're going to learn a lot of other keywords in future videos. So please subscribe.